this bad of brain. Neither. I don't drink. It's probably pretty flat at this point. <laughs> uh, you you got to give uh, Clemson a lot of credit. I think they've done a tremendous job with how they've orchestrated the, their team, making some wise choices and evaluating. They seem to be real connected and play well together. You know, unselfish spirit. Much more physical than we were tonight. Most of you guys who've been around. This is not the typical Florida State team that you're accustomed to seeing. But this, this is um, the, the new ACC. Uh, now you can be your team a little differently. I think Brad has done a great job putting the pieces together. And more than anything else, evaluating personalities and character that fits the way he wants to coach, the way he wants to play. Um, they lost three games. And I think they were extreme. They were much more motivated than we were. I feel like they was playing for something different, higher. And um, that's normally the way our teams have always been. Um, this has been a, an untypical year for us, but it's a learning experience. And uh, I looked out there several times. I had three freshmen, almost four on the court at the same time. And I'm looking at a much more experienced team, and that's what happens. You know, they made very few mistakes. They executed the offense. The defense was outstanding. Uh, we played at a pace that I'm not accustomed to playing with uh, because we had to play guys more minutes than they ever have. Uh, I think our guys have, have a tendency to know they're going to be playing 30 minutes or 30, 35 minutes. And so they look for spots to rest. And um, every time we faltered, I thought, Clemson made us pay. Um, I think that they're capable of doing some real good things in the NCAA tournament because of the, the strength, the connective way they approach things. I got to I gotta congratulate them for, um, I think, doing an outstanding job this year. And uh, we, won't, we won't be this way next time we come back here. Coach, I guess you have to be encouraged by Baba's uh, shooting tonight. Um, how much did you miss not having Cleveland out there? Well, if I start talking about what I'm missing and who I don't have, I mean, Cam Fletcher's ACL, Jalen Ganey, ACL. Now I got Cam Fletcher and didn't have Baba for 16 games. And I actually thought that the three kids that we lost last year, Anthony Polite and Osmond and Butler, would still be on this team. So, you know. Um, we're constantly making adjustments. That's the way. That's the way life is in, in bad college basketball. You got to prepare yourself for the unexpected, and, and uh, I don't think I did that the right way. So Baba, this is 16 games. You know he's still trying to get his feet under him. You know he's not quite sure of uh, of some things, and it's very frustrating. I think he has the talent. I think you're going to see more of him as he moves through his career. Um, for a guy his size to be able to do what he does, I think he's only, he hadn't even started crash, scratching the surface or his potential. So I got I got to say that I, you let, I like to say it, it was a coming out party for him tonight, but um, I, I think he has a lot more than bring to our team, even than what he displayed tonight. So I'm pleased with the progress he's made. He showed that he's made. Do you have an update on Cleveland? You know, he has he's having back spasms, and sometimes that this it goes with the individual. You know, uh, he played the other night, but he was subpar. You know, he wasn't 100 percent. I'm not gonna play him until uh, until he's 100 uh, percent ready to go with no, no issues. But I wouldn't be surprised if he, he wasn't able to play Saturday as well. Good. Go ahead. Make it sound much harder. Um, it's PJ Hall to defend when he's hitting four or four point <laughs> range. Well. You know, <clears throat> it's easier for him when, when they are in sync like this. He's an outstanding player, inside, outside. That's just uh, the gift God has blessed him with. But the, the way that we're moving the ball and how they get in passes and the, the way they create opportunities for them with their ball moving and ball reversing and player movement, he has a chance to get those shots that 
that, that he's knocking down. So it's, it's this, even though he's a talented youngster, the system fits who he is. And uh, I think that he's, and he's doing a very good job of taking advantage of it. Coach, you all shot well from three point, um, but just 12 of 29 inside the arc. Um, how much of that do you attribute to Clemson's defense? Well, they, they, are, they are an extremely physical team. And to their credit, they are able to, their bodies, our kids be, right now, we driving, but because of their strength and their physicality, we, we going away from the basket as opposed to being able to go toward the basket. And that's the, that's the soundness of their defense. Uh, and so uh, that threw us off a lot. We, we, you have to be extremely explosive and going uh, uh, very aggressive. And I, I don't think we did that tonight. I thought we attacked the basket about three-quarter speed against a, a team whose defensive schemes are, are as physical as theirs. You got a comeback that was much more aggressive than we did tonight. And they have a lot to do. Yes, absolutely they have a lot to do with us missing those shots around the basket. With, with Clemson dropping three straight going in, did you feel like they were vulnerable no, at all? No, I felt like they were more motivated. Yeah. We told our team to be prepared because they lost three straight games, and this needed to be the year they go to the NCAA tournament. So they caught us at one level of where we are, and we caught them in a night where they needed to win this game. This was, and we allowed them to let the game be more important to them than it was to us. I mean, it was a, a perfect scenario for them to understand you couldn't afford to lose four games in a row if you're trying to go to the NCAA tournament. And that was a motivation within itself. Uh, one of, I worked for a coach one time, he says that, he was always said that every game, one team, because of the nature of whatever's going on, would have a mental edge over the other. And I, I thought, and, but you control that. But they, their mental age was, their mental focus was a lot higher than I was tonight. And they played with a lot of on point execution offensively and defense. The ball move was excellent. And then um, anytime they had an opportunity to, to get an uncontested three, I thought they made this pay. More questions for Coach? Chuck trying to get me out of here before I say something wrong. <laughs> <laughs>